Hi friends, my name is Claire and today I'm going to be showing you some thrifted yarn deals, so please stick around. Hi friends, my name is Claire and this is my channel, Woodshed Theory. Here, I make content about what it is like to be an adult on the autism spectrum and whatever else feels good to me, so if that sounds good to you or if you're feeling particularly gracious today, and I hope that you are. Please go ahead and click the subscribe button, ring the bell. I almost forgot to mention that sometimes I put out videos three times a week. Click the like, click the like. Hi friends, what an exciting day. If the camera seems different, I'm on my phone because I still have not put batteries into charge. So that's what is different. Welcome to my very messy office. I wanted to check in really quick with you. Uh, got some really good deals today from Joann's and Joann. They don't call it Joann's anymore. Joann and from Savers. So I'm going to do Joann's first and then Savers because that's the best stuff. Shout out to two really great channels. First, my friend Kim at Affordably Crafty. Kim always does thrifted yarn hauls and she tags me in them. So I'd love to return the favor because we both love thrifted yarn a lot. It's the best. It's the best way to go. Second, uh, Ginger from Yarn Geek. She's the reason that I knew about the sale on the yarn at Joanne and I really needed that yarn. So I'm very happy. Thank you. Also, I wanted to share with you I'm not like ready or anything today, but here you go. I made this cute little summer top. I don't think it's too revealing. Uh, it's a cute little summer top and I don't remember the pattern for it. It's made of a uh, Pima cotton. I've been trying to make more of my own clothes. That is the goal, right? And you don't need as much to make like cute summer tops. I'm sorry if the camera keeps going like this. So there's that, I just finished this top. It is the Hobby Lobby Pima Cotton in the color Fern, maybe? Fern? It's discontinued anyway, so it doesn't really matter, does it? All right, at Joann's I got some great deals. The first thing I picked up, for some reason I can't find any of my yarn needles. So I got some of these. Now, I will say that at Michael's, I checked, and these were a dollar for two. And the cheapest ones at Joanne were $2.79 or something like that. What was it? $2.30. Nope. Here we go. $2.29 for two. But I did have a 50% off of one regular priced item coupon, so that made it a dollar and 15 cents. Then I picked up some fabric. Right now, for a few more days, they're still doing 75% off of Fabric Remnants, which is their best fabric sale of the year. So normally, if you buy a Fabric Remnant, it's 50% off whatever the current price of the fabric is. Right now, it's 75%. So we've got, we found two really great ones. These are that 100% cotton, I don't want to call it cotton gauze, but you can make clothes out of it. It's in the apparel section and it's just nice and fluffy for fluffy, nice and light for summer. And there was point, basically 0.9 yards each of these. The one color is in dark purple. The other color is in spice fall. This one's a 48 inch. This is a 54 inch. Both of these originally were $14.99 a yard. With a discount, each of these cost, well, the dark purple one was $2.34 and the spice one was $2.27. So I would say that's an amazing deal and the colors are so pretty. This is what I saw that Ginger posted from Yarn Geek that was on clearance and it's the Burnat Forever Fleece in Lunar Gray and it was 25% off the clearance price. So it was $8.47 on clearance. I got it for $6.35 each. They had two in the color Lunar Gray. Now, I'm not sure if you could see it, 
I'm going to point to it right here. There is six other balls of uh, other colors of this in the closet. I am trying to make the pattern for a blanket called a study in snow, a study of snow. It might be by the crochet crowd. It's free. You can look it up online. I got these for $3.75 each at the Hobby Lobby clearance sale. And I need eight balls actually to make the blanket I need. And I don't, didn't have it. So I got another color that would match that. And this is, I think it's polyester, right? Yeah, it's a hundred percent polyester, super bulky six, 10 hook, 194 yards. So now I definitely have enough to make my blanket and I think the colors are gonna go fine together. They'll be all neutral together. Not every color of this was on clearance, but there were a few and this is the one that went best with what I already had. Thank you, Ginger and Kim, for always keeping me posted on what's on sale. Great, let's move on to the fun part. I love going to my local Savers thrift store and all the thrift stores in the area, but my Savers, Every so often, I check every week, but every so often they get really good yarn in that I want to have. So today I went in and it just so happened to be one of those lucky days. Now, I've discussed with my friends that anytime I find good yarn at the thrift store, I'm to buy it and we'll figure it out later. Usually the price is really good for a natural fiber and my friends have told me that if I don't want it, they'll probably buy it from me. So I normally just pick up whatever they have, especially after this one time where they had so much neuro, expensive neuro yarn, and I didn't buy any of it because I don't need it. Um, and I would have been spending like $100 on thrift store yarn. It was probably about $1,200 worth of yarn, but I just didn't want to spend like that. So ever since then, my friends have told me just get what they have and we'll figure it out later. So that's our new philosophy. Do you have yarny friends? You should get some. So I think in total at Savers, I spent $25. Some good Samaritan did leave a 20% off coupon lying on a couch in Savers and I snatched it up. So thank you, 20% off coupon person. Every bag I think I bought was $3.99. Some of the yarns had four balls in it. Some of the yarns had two balls, but everything seemed like a good deal. So it was worth it. So the first thing that I have here, I believe are two balls of Debbie Bliss Cashmerino Super Chunky. I'm assuming that this is also the same thing because they were in bags dispersed together. These feel exactly the same and they look exactly the same. I know they don't make this anymore, but originally I think it was around $10, $12 a ball. It is 55% merino wool, 33% microfiber, 12% cashmere. It's really beautiful and soft. This is a cream color. This is a rose color. I figured with two, I could make a hat and it's a really nice, it feels super nice too seven and a half millimeter knitting needles. I'd say it's about a thin five weight. Another one-off that I picked up was from sweaterknits.com in Canada. 50% super fine alpaca, 50% merino wool. The reason I got this, I think it was in a bag with maybe this can't exactly remember how they were bagged up. I went to look for this and the website still does exist, but they don't sell things in singles. So I'm not exactly sure what the retail would be on like something like this, um, but the fiber was good. So I thought I'd get it, give it a shot. And I have other things in my collection I can mix with it. It's a 50 gram ball, three and a half to four and a half millimeter knitting needles. Hand wash, lay flat to dry. Just a really pretty gray color. Next, some of these have the labels coming off. This is also discontinued, but they had enough for me to make something. So I picked it up. 
It is a beautiful khaki green color. Debbie Bliss Baby Cashmere. It's the same as uh, this as far as how it's made up, just thinner. So this is 55% wool, 33% microfiber, 12% cashmere. I'd say it's a two or three weight. Super pretty. Extremely soft. I thought it would make a good summer top. I think there's enough there to do it. So fingers crossed. Uh, they don't make them anymore, as I said. From what I looked up, they were about $10 a piece when they came out. You can find them on sale now for about $8 a piece, seven uh, people who are selling from their stash. But I thought for basically, let's see, 90% off, it was a good deal, especially with the cashmere in there. Final thing, really exciting. There's a lot of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I have 12 of these. First of all, when I when I bought them, I didn't realize what the name was. My mom's name is Kathy. Uh, and these are Cathay or Cat Hay, however you want to read them. There are 12 balls of this. There's a lot of it. And it's all the same dye lot, which I thought was great. So obviously somebody bought a set to make a project. It is. 50% cotton, 35% viscose, microfiber, 15% silk. So I thought that that would be such a beautiful summer top. It's basically a two weight probably. And the name is not on it, but it's like a dark purple. There's so much of it. Anyway, it's not that often when you're at a thrift store and you find a uh, a quantity of yarn where you can make something. So if you do see that, it's always good to pick it up, especially if it is something like this. I believe the original retail price was around $10 a ball. So that's 120. We're just gonna say everything was around $10 a ball because all of it is discontinued, but still really usable. 120, 40, 50, 60. So 180 dollars don't know what this one was but we'll call it we'll call it five dollars 185 dollars for 25 dollars so it's a really really good deal that I got I think I'm definitely going to be making some more summer tops now that I'm into like the summer top thing uh what would you make with it what one was your favorite I kind of like the baby cash merino but also I'm not sure if this is my color, but maybe I'll make a shirt for my mom or something. Pretty color purple. That's everything. Really good deal today. In total, I spent less than $50 for a bunch of really great stuff. I was really impressed with what I was able to get. I always like to show you because I wanna encourage people to always you know, check the thrift store, buy used if you can. Uh, there's always such a good deal out there if you're looking for it. What are you working on right now? I'm finishing up a t-shirt, a crocheted t-shirt, which I'll show soon. I hope you have a great weekend. I love you and have a great day. Bye guys.